As you're well aware, we have quite the cluster on our wildcard leaderboard, and tonight we're going to resolve the issue. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. It's nearing midnight here on the East Coast. I don't know what has happened yet. I was out watching one of my favorite bands, Wilco, perform here in Brooklyn at the King's Theater, which is a gorgeous, refurbished old, I think it was a Lowe's Theater back in the 20s and 30s. That's kind of important because I found out about Wilco because I got a $2,000 clue about them in my first final game, I want to say, and uh, <laughs> all three of us just stood there. It was not a good night for 21st century rock back in 2003, and uh, someone who's now my friend, who was in an acapella group that I later tried out for and got into, gave me the CD in question, Yankee Hotel Foxtrot. So, long story, but... It's been a, a weird week of throwbacks with that 22-222 yesterday as well. Here's our wild card standing. Sarah, 14801 yesterday. Hannah, 14400 as well. They're both into the next round. Kate and Michael, also at 14400 The first tiebreaker is score heading into final Jeopardy. And Hannah has a slight advantage there. And Kate and Michael had the exact same total. Both went for the Hail Mary. I'm using that term a lot this week. It seems about right. The second tiebreaker, I think, and what I've been told, is the uh, score after the single Jeopardy round. So Kate had 3,200 and Michael had 2,600. If Noah just stands pat or if he gets it right, he's in. If Zaya gets it right and wagers, what was that going to be, 3,600, he's in as well. I'll be interested to see what my calculator says he should wager. I'm going to guess it's somewhere around 6,000, and I think Noah's going to want to wager about 1,500, although no, what we know, it's not going to be a good wager. And uh, Nikki should just stand pat. I think she might actually put her buzzer down toward the end of that double jeopardy round. She didn't come in uh, toward the end there. Let's see, what would I do? I'm going to guess that Ziad's going to go for uh, 4201. And Noah, nice. That was a very aggressive wager by Noah, who, uh, even though he likes sloths so much, is not afraid to go big when he needs to. What do I do with Noah? I'm going to guess he'll go for 3000 here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on and uh, see how this gets resolved. I'll be especially interested to see what happens if, <laughs> God forbid, one of these two get 14-4. I don't think I'm gonna to want to be around for that. Dealing with U.S. presidents and players, you are dealing with this clue. He was the only 20th century president who never delivered an inaugural address. That one's easy. <clears throat> he was never elected president or vice president. So who else could it be? Uh, who would have assumed the presidency? Truman? Yes. LBJ, yes, both of them got elected a second term. Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt, yes. Uh, second term. Coolidge, second term. That's it. I should have gone in order, but. All right, let's find out how our players did. We start with you, Ziad. You were in third place. You had 10,800, and you came up with President Ford. That is a correct response. Let's take a look at your wager. Whoa! Oh boy, 10,800. You did all you could. Nice. We come to Noah Collin. Good play there. Did he come up with President Ford? No, uh -oh. he had Coolidge and Six hundred. Cost him how much? Uh -oh. 2,000, dropping him to 13,000. Now we come to Nikki Peters. She was leading. She was Sorry, smiling man. because she wrote down Ford. And did she risk more than 200? She most certainly did. Wow, that seems needlessly Ford. aggressive, but... Ziad's in, Kate is in. Sorry, Michael. I think I guess we'll find out for sure now. And if you've been following us all week, you know that this young man from North Carolina State is one of them. And we have this young lady from Pitt, Sarah Dubnik. 
That leaves us with two more open spots. However, for the first time ever in any of our tournaments, oh, please be a there are three players tied at 14,400 coming out of Final Jeopardy. In the event of a tie, we go to the player who was leading going into Final Jeopardy. And in this case, it was Hannah Norum from Augustana. The other two players who were tied at 14,400 were also tied this is, going this into ridiculous. Final Jeopardy. So we go back to the Jeopardy round. And the player who was leading at the end of that round was Kate Lobschner from Northeastern University. We'll try to clear it up again on Monday. So long, everybody. That... I mean, that's just... If you have to take that long to explain something, you might as well just bring all three players on stage and give them a couple tiebreaker clues. First one in, wins one slot. Second one on the next question, gets another slot. Uh... I think it would make for more compelling television instead of having to go through all that. But, you know, they got their semifinals. It's all they need. I think that might be only the third time that's ever happened they had to go to a tiebreaker from the tied amount. I think there was a team tournament. I know for sure the 2003 tournament champions where a bunch of people tied at zero. So uh, that's a bummer, Michael. Now Michael's going to be the, uh, the alternate, which is a terrible position to be in. Noah, that's a shame as well. He played a good game. And he was good on the last Daily Double, but uh, I'm looking at Nikki here. I'm looking at Gus. I'm looking at Emily Wright, uh, Emily Bingham from Wright State, right? Wrong? Right? Some Too many homonyms there. Those are my three favorites in the next round, and we'll see who gets paired up. I'll come up with a prediction, and uh, I'll put it up, and we'll find out soon enough who's playing whom, and soon it'll all be over. And someone will have a trophy on a hundred thousand dollars and a spot on the TOC. So I hope you had a great I hope you have a great weekend. I need to chill out now and uh, try to do the same. And we will see you Monday for our first semifinal of the 2016 college championship right here on the final wager.